And I've described it in the Commons last week, and it's not my original phrase, uh, as, as the crack cocaine of gambling. It is incredibly addictive. I was allowed to bear without having to prove my age, um, and, and young people are particularly vulnerable, which is quite worrying. I, I was fortunate enough to have cognitive behavioural therapy, which helped me kind of beat the addiction. There are, uh, you know, apparently 350,000 addicted gamblers in Britain, which is a very serious problem. It causes terrible problems for, for families, often destroys families and ruins personal lives. Each betting shop's allowed four machines, so they open up as many shops as possible. They cluster in areas like this, um, just so they can get these machines here, as many as many as they can into a small area. The, the statistics show, and I, I was appalled to see it, that, that the two areas with the highest level of gambling turnover were Central Manchester and Liverpool Riverside, you know, but two of the poorest areas in the country. Uh, and indeed, in central Manchester, there are 50 betting shops, just in one consistency, 50 in the central Manchester. They're, they're targeting the private areas, so there's more than twice as many betting shops in areas of high unemployment than there are in areas of low unemployment. Um, so what they're doing at the moment is moving into areas where people can't afford to, to play at, at those stakes. The stakes are far too high. Society can't just stand by and let this kind of addiction happen. We've got to do something about it, and I would think restricting those machines in particular, but also having serious uh, constraints on gambling in general. We want to see restrictions imposed on the machines to make them less addictive. Um, Maria Miller, who's a Secretary of State for Culture, Media and Sport, has the power to, without primary legislation, reduce the maximum stake, increase the time between spins and, uh, and change the content on the machines. We don't think there should be uh, casino content on there either. Society has responsibility to address addiction. That doesn't mean you crush everybody's freedom to bet, to bet, but you make sure that whatever gambling does exist doesn't lead to hundreds of thousands and possibly millions becoming addicted to gambling. Then go and to, the, to the betting shop or take out loans, payday loans, um, so that's where the money's coming from, it's all fueled by debt.